What's up, my family? Welcome back to another video. Now, today we are going to be doing another Cricut video on how to make an Adidas t shirt for five dollars you're going to want to make sure you guys watch this whole entire video because i'm going to answer all those questions for you and show you exactly how i did it Welcome back guys. Now, if you don't know me, my name's JS, also called Jeffrey Smallwood. And on this channel, we create t-shirts and we also do viral little videos on there that, you know, you can just actually just go through my, my, my channel and just check out all the videos. And make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button just down below or somewhere around here. So a couple questions that people ask me that I wanna just get through to you guys is, someone asks, can you sell these Nike t-shirts? First and foremost, before I say anything, because I don't want to get sued, but I do want you guys going out there making some money. I thought that last clip was hilarious. If you guys like that, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and sub to that because that was funny. Now, another question that people are asking me is what website do I use to make these designs? When you buy the Cricut Explorer Air 2, it comes with a program called Cricut Design Space. And that is pretty easy, pretty simple uh, program for you to use to make t-shirts. Now, what you could also do is take your designs or whatever you come up with yourself, or if you have a type of shirt that you wanna make, you can take that to Photoshop, which is another program, and you can buy that and then you'll be able to create your own design. With that being said, in my opinion, the Cricut Design Space is well enough. There are also free apps out there that are uh, pretty good as well. And if you guys wanna know what that is, just ask the question down below and I will be sure to get that to you. How and what is the Cricut Maker? Now, let's get this understood. The Cricut Explorer Air 2 is for like vinyl, vinyl, like the, the vinyl, like this. Right, this type is not that thick, you know, but it can still the make the make the uh, Cricut Explorer can still cut it. The maker is for thicker material, so if you want to get that one, pick that up. All the links are down below. If you guys happen to hit those, yes, I do get credit for that, so I definitely appreciate that. Drum roll, please. All right, now let's get on to it. To the design that we are going to be making right now is going to be this design that I saw. It was Adidas and it's dripping. Like right? it's a dripping and it has Adidas. I thought it was so banging. So it's gonna look like this basically. Boop. That's what the design looks like. Now, I want you guys to comment down below what color shirt you think I'm gonna make this on. The black vinyl on to the gray shirt and we are going to see how that looks, which I really think is gonna be fire. All right, guys, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is for entertainment purposes only is go to Google for your design. So you're seeing right now, like I'm seeing, uh, Adidas Drip. This is what I was looking for. I was trying to find a dope logo for something that was pretty, pretty decent. You see the logos right here. All you do, click it. Ooh, that's fire right there. But ooh, that's fire too. Ooh, look at the Nike one. I might have to make the Nike one too. That is fire. All right, let's let's not let's not uh this one's fire, bro. All right, all right, let's not get off hand. All right, here we go. So you, you click your design, you get the best image as long as it's not you know looking all crazy. And what you do is you just want to copy and paste this to your desktop. After you then copy and paste this to your desktop, you're going to see it. I already have it right here. You want to see it right there. Now, when you have it on your desktop. Let's now go to our Cricut Design Space, where I was telling you how you make the designs. Once you're in the Cricut Design Space, you're gonna go to New Project, and you gotta go to New Project because this is what the actual space looks like where you can take words, the designs, anything that you want and place it on here to design your cut for your Cricut Explorer Air 2. Next thing you're gonna do, go to Upload, hit Upload, and just go to Browse. Since it's on your desktop, you already know where it's on your desktop. So just go to your desktop, and click. So now we're gonna go ahead and click the 1A, Adidas is gonna come up, boom. That's our whole thing. You might think you're done, but you're not. Let's go to complex, right? You don't wanna go to simple, you wanna go to complex. You want fine detail when you're doing it. Now, 
next thing you got to do is it says select and erase what you do not want right select and erase the image you want to remove of course that's going to be the white area in the back so make sure you click the white area but when you click the white area you have a whole bunch of other ones in that same area you can still see this white left so what you do is you just go along and you just make sure all the white is here and if you need be you can hit the plus sign to zoom in that's when you want to get super detailed so what i'm gonna do is just to be safe because you don't want the maker or the cricket or the explorer doing any like messed up areas that you thought oh i thought that area was safe and it turns out it wasn't you know what i'm saying this information has helped you guys so far make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe let me know if you got any questions down below i truly will love that man it'll help this channel out a lot once you get to this screen hit save is going to save the image and now you have the actual image now that you have your image in the design space you have to know how big you're going to want your image this is 12 look at it like that it looks okay however you might can see what it looks like to be a little stretched out bringing it all the way to 12 here and i don't think that's an issue even like a little bit of taste is a little bit of 12 there we go and i think that looks great Boom, look at that. So once you got it under no fill, let's go to make it. You wanna see this design come up and this is literally what's gonna be on the shirt. Make sure you hit mirror, uh, make sure you hit okay. Now, next step you're gonna go to is continue. Make sure you take your sticky paper. Oh, pro tip, if your sticky paper gets dirty, just take some, uh, some soap and some water, like this detergent soap, scrub that baby down don't worry about it because after you scrub it down it's gonna get sticky again that's another pro tip y'all can have that make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe for that now let's get on with this now people get this mixed up you want to make sure you put the shiny side down flat first shiny side down open up your Cricut Maker. Once you hit the Sports Flex iron on, the next step is to make sure you have loaded your paper. That is with the blinking arrow that you're gonna see. Make sure you press that. That's gonna load the paper into the machine. It'll ask you for the fine point. You choose the uh, fine point blade. After fine point blade is done, you make sure you hit your C. C is gonna start the print and prepare your design. All right, and you wanna make sure the paper goes in flush. The design is working. All right, I'm going to not even go fast forward to show you this. I'll show you at the end. So let's let this work. Hit that like and subscribe button, and then let's get back to it. All right, guys, once your design is actually finished, it's going to look like this. You're going to make sure you put those arrow. Arrow's going to push the design out, and now you're going to have something that looks like this. Ta-da! Now that you guys have actually cut out and peeled off the excess stuff that you're not going to use, you should see your design is going to look like this next step what you're going to do is grab your shirt all right but also make sure you can use parchment paper because you have to place this on top of your design now we got to get our shirt nice and hot so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your shirt place it on the heat press just to get it nice and hot so we're going to place this over and we're going to let this thing go Press it on for about 11 seconds. You have to do this before you start just to get your shirt uh, nice and hot. Now, if you're wondering what type of degrees that I have on here, I basically have mine at 250. I'd rather cool it over time than not have it cooled at all. So once you go ahead and have your shirt nice and hot, make sure that you will have your design ready. And because we want the shiny side up this time, we're gonna go ahead and place that shiny side up. Now, a question that a lot of people also are asking me is how and where do you place your shirt? It is your design, so you do exactly what you wanna do. But the general rule is four fingers from the neck, you can see where your shirt's gonna, where it's gonna be, and four inches or four fingers from the side of your shirt. So we have the side of our shirt, we have it there, and then we're gonna go ahead and place our parchment paper on top. And then with our parchment paper on top, we're gonna to have that hold for 11 seconds. And then we're gonna take it off and then remove our parchment paper. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and do something called curing, which you're gonna do another 11 seconds without the parchment paper, and then your design is done. I'll show you. All right, guys, after you got that done, release it. Parchment paper comes off. See what your design looks like. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and make sure we take this design off. Nice and slowly and careful. This is something that you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't like rush the situation. All right, really wanna take your time taking this thing off because if anything is still stuck to the design, you're gonna to wanna to put this film back on and go ahead and do it again. So let's go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. By the way, man, I tell you, black and white and red solid color designs, they're gonna look really, really good when you guys go ahead and make these designs. Now the next part of this, what we're gonna do is called, just like that. If you see that right there, that is the definition of when your shirt does not get the top. And that's because I didn't have the top of that correctly on. So if that happens, don't worry, no need to fret. Just make sure you don't mess it up. You lay it down flat, place your plastic back over it, Hold it for another little 11 seconds. Let that go for 11 seconds right there. Boom, everything should be good as new. See, boom, look at that, that's fresh. We'll let the shirt cool down for about another little 12 seconds. Now this is the, the most important step called curing, is what you heat the shirt up without uh, the film or the or the paper film that's on top. So what I would do is you should just fold it to the exact height, make sure you don't have no wrinkles in it. A good way to do that is to make sure the bottom is laid flat first. And then you can take your top and just nice and Gently make sure there's no wrinkles in it so that the whole platform will be getting hit. Now this is curing. All we wanna do is take our heat press, have your timer ready to go. And we're gonna start this puppy now. And start. Team, boom. And now your shirt is complete. Let me show you what this bad boy look like. And boom, just like that, your shirt is done. Look at it right now. You're gonna get a lot of enjoyment from doing this right here. This is what it looks like. Looks like you just got it from the store. You can also get really creative with it and you can actually go ahead and cover up the uh, label shirts. If you don't wanna go to Walmart and you guys are really feeling like, you know, frisky, you guys can go ahead and order bulk shirts where there will be no labels at the uh, at the top. Then you can create your own label with it. You guys go ahead and run with this. If you guys like this video, anything, if you learned anything, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, write a comment down below if you guys got any questions. Again, anything that I used is in the description down below. And I want to see you guys going out there with your own clothing line and making some money. And I will teach you a thing or two about making some money because once you get this down, what will happen is you can go to your local store and say, hey, how about I make you a t-shirt? They like it so much, now they need shirts for who? They employees. Now you got a store that you're making shirts for. You go to another place and make shirts for them. Boom, now people are saying, hey, this, this, this person makes t-shirts and they're pretty reasonable on price. Now look, you got a company, just like that. Until I see you guys again, love you guys, peace, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys another day.